in the atmosphere. We got to declare it this morning. Yes, Lord, God is. God is. Thank you, Jesus. Israel, they had 
uh, of the enemy had came over and took half of them into captivity. It was only a small amount that was left, but everything was broke down. Everything was burnt up. It wasn't nothing but rubbish. Yes. Nothing but rubbish. And so as Nehemiah made it over and Nehemiah began to survey the land, survey the damage, survey everything that had went on because they had no gates, no walls. They, they, everything was just burned down. The gates was burned down. We began to speak. The last message was restoring Jesus, the fountain, a giver of rivers of living waters. They began to build all the gates back in place. They was putting we, we begin to speak about putting Jesus back in his proper place. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Put him back as that door. For he is the door. So we begin to go through all of that and now it's to the point now of building the walls. And back then a city had walls. Just like we can drive through no little rock like it ain't nothing. Uh, uh, but you couldn't drive over there like that. It, it had to be uh, uh, walls. Walls was around the city. Yeah. Walls that, that stood like 12 feet tall. Um, 12 to 13 feet tall. Mm -hmm. And they would have the, the, the soldiers on top of the wall. That's how big these walls. You just couldn't go in the city as you like. The, the walls represent the protection around the city. Mm -hmm. Where it, it divided things. It, it had the gaps built in. The walls where the gates was built in the mm -hmm. walls. It was and just like we can go out and just open up uh open uh, the, like the gates we have around our house. No, these was big old thick brick brick gates, brick walls, and so forth that they had around the city. Yeah. So they began to build the wall, but at the same time, they have a, a crowd of their enemies that's taking watch. Yes. Uh, yes. Checking things out as they begin to build. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But it so happened when Sam Ballad heard that we were rebuilding the wall, mm -hmm. that he was furious and very angry, mm -hmm. and he mocked the Jews. Because every time you start building on the things of God, when you start doing the work of God, your enemies, on, they get mad. On, they get very angry. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they get so blazed up with anger because they see that you are doing the work of God, that you're doing good. Yes. You're doing good. Because when you do the work of God, you're doing good. It don't matter how it looks. It, it, it don't matter how it looks. They get so angry because they don't want you to keep building. But you got to take it upon yourself that I got to keep building Amen. on the things of God. You got to build yourself up with the word of God. Never stop building yourself up with the word of God. Because that's how we are built up with, with the word of God. You got to keep building yourself up daily with the word of God. Don't stop building no matter how and what you go through. You got to remember, I got to build. I got to keep building. I got to keep building. Yeah, I know my enemies is watching me, but I got to keep building. But they begin to watch them. They begin to, you got to keep building your ministry. You got to keep building your family up. Build them up with the word of God. Build them up with the work of God. Whatever God has placed in you to do, keep building. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're going to feel some hits at times. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're going to feel the test. You're going to go through tests at times. But you can't stop building. You got to keep on building. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They got mad. They was very angry. Oh, yes. They were very angry. Don't you know that your enemies, they going to laugh? Yes. They going to laugh at you. Uh, yeah, yeah. They were so mad that they was rebuilding the walls because now I'm building the protection back around the city. Come on, come on. I'm building that protection back around my life. I'm building that protection around my children, around my marriage, around my ministry. Look, they was mad because they kept on building. Building the wall. They said, we were building this thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know why they were so mad? Because when you begin to build up and you begin to close up those gaps, the come enemy on. can't come, come in. Uh, yeah, yeah. They know they're going to be shut out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the important part of working and rebuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they said, you know what? We got to close the gaps. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got to close 
why you got on and kneel, why you said no, we closing the gaps up. I don't care what gap that you have opened up. I don't care if it's a gap of sin. I don't care whatever it is of lust or perversion or whatever it is that I got to close this gap up because there's an opening and the enemy can come in at any time. So I got to build this wall up so that I have protection that you can't no, 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 I'm closing you out. Yeah. I'm closing you out. Yeah. They were mad. Don't you know you really find out who your enemies is? Yeah. When you stay on the battlefield for the Lord and you begin to build up the things of God, you begin to build yourself up with the yeah. word of God, you begin to find out who your enemies yeah. is because they get angry at you. They get furious with you. They come up against you for no apparent reason. Oh, come on, come on. But you can't let that stop you. Because Nehemiah could have stopped way back then. Yeah. Because Sam Bell and them, they kept on trying to come up against them. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Mm. Yes, God. They kept on trying to come up against them over and over. Your enemies will always try to block you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From doing the things of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to make up in your mind that I got to block the enemy out. That's the reason why I'm closing the gates up. That's the reason why I'm building up the walls that God told me to build up. You got to build that wall around your family. You got to build that wall around your marriage. You got to build the wall around your ministry. Whatever God has told you to do, you got to say it ain't going to be no opening for the enemy to come in here. I'm talking about none of your enemies. You got to block them out. Oh, yes, God. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. Don't Amen. stop building. Stop. Don't stop. We're in Nehemiah, the fourth chapter. Can't, don't stop building. You're going to go through. You may feel pain at times. You may get discouraged yeah. at times. But you got to say, I got to keep on building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to keep on building. You may even feel afraid sometimes. But you got to say, I'm going to keep on building. Because God has not given me a spirit of
they was displeased. Yes. Mm. They just heard of it. They could just hear of something. They yeah. go good. They go to church all the time. They, they, they just heard. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they married now. Oh, they just yeah. heard. I mean, they want to come up against you. That, that makes them mad. That makes them angry because they hear something good. In Nehemiah 2 and 19, they heard of it. They heard of it. They didn't know what, what truth it was, but they heard of it. And they laughed and they despised them. Mm -hmm. People despise you for no reason. Yeah. And as people of God, you got to know people ain't going to like you. People will come up against you. People will lie on you. People will talk about you. People will do all of those things just because you serve God. And you wonder, like, why did that not happen when I was going to the club and I was doing this, when I was cussing, when I was doing, why, why did it, why was, cause it was no need. You was on their turf. You was being an enemy to somebody too. Right. Uh -huh. That's true. Don't stop building. Don't stop building. Mm -hmm. They're going to hear about what you're doing, how you're living. They're going to hear about that. And then they're going to get angry. And they're going to mock you. They're just going to laugh at you and talk about you. And he spoke before his brethren in the army of Samaria and said, what are these people Jews doing? Will they fortify themselves? Will they offer sacrifice? Will they complete it in a day? Will they revive the stones from the heaps of the rubbish? Stones that are burnt? Look, they always got to go get some company. Because they ain't going to come by themselves. You got to know that. And then you got to know this about the enemy. The devil's afraid of the dark. He wants some company. That's why he tries so hard to make us fall and to make us fall in the area because he wants some company. And you got enemies that's out here. They are afraid to come by themselves. So they always got to go get some people to join in with them before they come up against you because they are afraid. They are straight cowards. Look, he went and got the problem. Let me go and talk to some folks. Let me go tell them. And be careful when people come to you. Right. And they talking about people and they doing this. You got to stop them. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I don't know if that's true. Well, let's go to them. They right. never want to go to the person. But they want to go to everybody else. Right. Be careful. They are cowards. They are people that cause discord. Yeah. Always come to the people. See, see exactly what's going on. Right. See what's, but if you're an enemy, you ain't going to try to do that. You're going to hold all that in and you're going to come up against them. You want to fight against them. You want to do all of these right. things. Uh -huh. He went and began to talk to the brother. I need some people with me because I'm, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. to, yeah. They said, what are these people Jews doing? They began to ask questions. What are they doing? <laughs> they began to ask all of these questions. Your enemies will kind of let you know what the problem is. Yeah. <laughs> if you just hear what they say. They, look, he said, what are these people Jews doing? They see some strength, so they want to call you weak. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then what are these people Jews doing? Will they fortify themselves? Will they strengthen themselves? Will they build themselves up? Will they protect themselves? Look, they, they tell you what they're afraid of. They're afraid of you standing on the word of God. They're afraid of you having that strength to go on and you depending on God. They're they afraid of that protection of God being around you. So now they got questions. Will they offer a sacrifice? They're afraid of you giving unto God. Oh, yes. They are afraid of you giving unto God. They are afraid. Look, what they make sacrifice? What they what they finna do? What they what what they doing? What they finna give? Will they complete it in a day? Let's see how long that it takes them. Will they complete this in a day? Because they see that they kept on building. Even though they was going through, they kept on building. Even though they was in a storm, they kept on building. Even though they had trouble in their marriage, they kept on building. Even though they had a trouble in their family, they kept on building. They didn't allow that to stop them from building. They kept on building. Their trust was not in themselves. Their trust was in the Lord. You gotta trust the Lord. You gotta depend on the Lord. They're afraid of you to stand. Yeah, and don't let the enemy stop you. They're afraid of you standing on the word of God. They're afraid of you doing the work. 
work, incomplete in their work. They afraid of you giving unto God because they don't want you to give unto Him. They don't want you to finish and make it to the cross. The prize. They want you to give up. Will they revive the stone from the heaps of the rubbish? They don't want no revival to take off. Oh yes. They do not want a revival to take off. They do not want you to recover all. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say, is they going to revive? Is they going to revive? Oh, yes. The stones from the heaps of the rubbish, this stuff has been burnt down. It ain't nothing but rubbish. How they going to make something out of nothing? Come on. Yeah, yeah, because the God they serve. Yeah, 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 yeah. How they going to make something? That don't look like nothing but rubbish that's been burnt. How they gonna revive this? How they gonna restore this? They are afraid of a revival yeah. rising up. So they say, How is this gonna happen? How is they gonna restore it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they were looking at the wrong things yeah. and at the wrong people. Uh, yeah, yeah. They should have been looking at our God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because that's how we're going to do it. He said, not by might, not by power, but my spirit, says the Lord. That's how it's going to be done. That's how revival is going to take off. And I'm not going to stop building. I know you're worried about me. Not finishing. But I'm going to get up and I'm going to do what God tells me to do. I don't care how you look at me. I don't care how you roll your eyes. I don't care how you lie on me. So you 
you saying uh, that what I'm building uh, ain't strong enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you build on the things of God, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's where that strength at. That's where it's at right now. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. when you build it on the things of God, oh, my God, I it may look like uh, that the wind may blow it down. But I'm built up on the solid foundation. The wind can't blow me down. The storm can't knock me down. I'm on a sure foundation. Oh, no, she got no shame. You gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know. Don't stop building. Look, when you keep on building, stop paying. Stop paying your enemy some attention. Let them talk. Let them lie. Let them come up against you. Look, you can't even pay your storm. Come on. No attention. Yet we might be in the midst of a storm, but we know after a while it's going to cease. Because what I'm going through, God is my peace. I'm not paying my enemies no attention. I keep on building. I can't stop building. I gotta keep going on. They coming up against me. But I gotta keep on building. I gotta keep on preaching. I gotta keep on praying. I gotta keep on worshiping. I gotta keep on giving. I gotta keep on building. Don't stop building. Built. Yeah. 
the wall. Uh -huh. So they let me know uh -huh. that they never stop building. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, 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 I told you the wall, that's protection, that's covering. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the way that the enemy used to get it, mm -hmm. ah, he can't get in yeah. like that no more. Right. Because the gaps have been closed up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can't worry about what you did last no. month, yesterday, no. last week, uh -huh. two months ago. Uh -huh. Long as you close the gaps, uh, yeah. and long as you repent, uh, yeah. and start for forgiveness, uh, yeah. and, 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 you closing the gap uh, to perversion, to fornication, yeah. to pornography, yeah. to lust, uh, to lying, uh, to anger, uh, yeah. to unforgiveness, uh, to pride. Uh, And the entire wall was drawn together uh -huh. up to half its height. Yes. For the people had a mind to work. Do you got a mind to work? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those people could have said, we can't handle the heat. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The old people used to say, you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. I know that she, oh, I know I see her. Look, look, he said they have a mind even though they were getting attacked, oh, yeah. even though money was funny, even though they had no window to go in, but they kept on building, they kept on throwing that hammer, hit that hammer on that nail, all of those shit, throwing that concrete, laying that motor, putting brick on top of brick, see you gotta build, you can't want to be at the top, and you ain't start from the bottom, you gotta keep on building, We go through stuff on jobs all the time. Supervisor can have a nasty attitude. People can lie on you on the job. You can feel like you're underpaid. Yeah, 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 things ain't fair. But we keep on working. But when we in the army of the Lord, and we work like for the Lord, anything that's being done, we don't want to do it no more. We don't want to pray no more. We don't want to preach no more. We don't want to give no more. I don't want to speak to this one. How we gonna get tired? We, we need gonna a mind to work. I know I'm Shia. Yeah, I know I'm Shia. We gotta keep looking to God. We gotta say, God, help me not to 